In 2021, the Honda NC750X received a major overhaul. More power, less weight, revised electronics. But is it still the all-rounder par excellence? The NC model series has been around since 2012. Even the first models, the touring-oriented NC700X and its naked sister NC700S, were pragmatic everyday machines. Among the experts, they might have been dismissed as state or boring. But in reality, many fans found themselves drawn to the practical features and the reliable and accessible engine. 73,600 NC models have been sold since the range was launched in 2012, with 7,600 units in 2020 and the new NC750X is set to continue the success in 2021, all on its own. Its naked bike sister with the S is dropping out of the lineup. Of course, Honda is also aware of the somewhat stale image and is trying to counteract it this year. The look has become altogether more aggressive and sharp. To this end, the tank has been widened, the side panels of the fairing have been reduced in size, the rear and the pillion footrests have been revised and the frame has been brought more prominently into the picture. In addition, the NC750X is equipped with LED lighting elements from front to rear. Although the NC may not yet become a design icon in 2021, by the end of the test day I had made friends with the look and found it thoroughly appealing. In dense city traffic, the NC750X is just as much at home as any other city scooter. The reason for this is primarily the comfortable seating position and the extremely accessible engine in combination with the DCT. You sit very upright and yet not too high on the NC. The suspension travel has been shortened from 150 to 120 mm, which has also lowered the seat height by 30 mm to 800 mm. This low, upright seating position harmonizes very well with the NC750X's low center of gravity. On one hand, the reason for this is the engine. The 745 cubic centimeter in line 2 cylinder is tilted forward by 62 degrees and lies virtually flat stretched forward. In addition, the NC special tank also lowers the center of gravity. Unlike conventional motorcycles, the tank on the NC is not located between the rider and handlebars, but behind and under the seat. The fuel tank has room for 14 liters of fuel and its location lowers the center of gravity considerably. The low mass gives the NC incredible stability in all riding situations. Although it is by no means a lightweight at 224 kilograms, it wags and weaves its way through lines of cars with ease. The revised engine now revs 600 revolutions per minute higher and has more power with 59 horsepower and 69 newton meter which supports brisk progress. However, in order to get away from the traffic lights even faster and zippier, Honda has shortened the first three gears. The ratio of gears 4, 5 and 6 is longer again to increase efficiency. After all, economy is one of the central virtues of the NC750X. As a pragmatic daily driver, a Honda NC750X must also be economical and efficient. This has always been a key feature of the bike. Although the previous model was already very economical, Honda's engineers have once again called on all their knowledge to put an even more efficient NC on the wheels in 2021. Fuel injection has been refined, the exhaust system has been redesigned with a more efficient, yet smaller catalytic converter, and the air filter box has also been redesigned, resulting in 34% less drag under maximum power demand. Virtually every part of the engine and all parts that connect to it have been improved over the years and trimmed for maximum efficiency. Thus, according to Honda, the NC750X 2021 manages 27.8 km with each liter of fuel. During our test, the consumption was also in this range. In the city, the NC swallows between 2.8 and 3.5 liters per 100 km during leisurely cruising. Even on the highway at speeds around 130 km per hour, it remains relaxed and is almost consistently content with only 5 liters per 100 km or less. A really economical machine. Just like the economy, there is another feature the NC is almost unimaginable without, the dual clutch transmission DCT for short. After all, 55% of previous NC buyers opted for this option. With the DCT, as the name suggests, two clutches are at work. One is responsible for gears 1, 3 and 5, the other for gears 2, 4 and 6. Alternately, they engage and disengage automatically, so like scooters, all you have to do is turn the throttle grip and the system takes care of the rest. The advantages, you no longer have to think about shifting gears and clutching. The gear changes are much smoother and faster than humanly possible, stalling the engine is history and it again increases efficiency. This makes for a very pleasant ride in the city. Even in annoying stop and go traffic, you remain relaxed, casually turn the throttle and simply let yourself be propelled forward on the stable NC.
However, if you still want to set the tone and decide for yourself when to change gears, you can do so at any time via the shift pedals at the left end of the handlebars. A gear can be shifted up or down at any time. After a few meters, however, the system shifts again if it deems it necessary. But absolute control over gear changes is also possible. Simply shift into manual mode with the push of a button and bang through the gears with the shift pedals at will. For die-hard motorcyclists, however, driving without a clutch lever and foot pedal takes some getting used to at first. Before heading out of town, it is still necessary to stock up on travel provisions. However, I'm not a fan of riding with a backpack. The alternative is usually a luggage system, which makes the motorcycle heavier and wider. Both are rather suboptimal. With the NC, I don't have this problem. As noted, the tank is behind and under the rider. But then what is in the massive tank-shaped part in front of the rider's seat? Usually nothing, air, or in other words, storage space. The 23 liter cavity can hold an entire full face helmet, a six pack, extra sausage roll, granola bar, mineral water bottle, for a typical purchase is easily enough. The storage compartment is not only 100% waterproof, but can be equipped with a USB-C port. If the tank compartment is not enough, Honda also offers a 38 or 50 liter top box, and 33 liter side cases. Of course, heated grips, larger windshields, center stands and more are also included in the accessories lineup. Finally, the urban jungle of Vienna recedes and the tart angular work begins. My expectations of the NC sportiness are conceivably low. In my eyes, it is a practical everyday machine, but nothing more. But as soon as I attack the first curves and hairpin bends, I can't help but be amazed. The NC pulls clean and very stable through the radius. Its chassis with shower components is nothing special, but does its job quite adequately. Big plus in terms of handling, however, is again the low center of gravity. Even in slowly negotiated bends, it sits firmly on the road. The difference between the riding modes was surprising. The NC750X has three of them, standard, rain and sport. While on some bikes you can barely feel a difference between the riding modes, the NC is worlds apart between standard and sport. In standard mode, the NC shifts just above 3000 revolutions per minute for efficient riding. In sport, however, it drops all restraint. Almost to the red line, the 59 little horses drive the engine. Then crisp shifting and it continues to rev cleanly. And here the third surprise awaits. The NC sounds really good. You would never have guessed the wicked roaring sound at the top end with the almost silent purr of the lower revs. Even my cameraman thinks it sounds like a much bigger bike. As for the riding modes, there is also a custom riding mode. In this, throttle response, engine braking, timing of gear changes, and traction control can be adjusted as desired in three stages. Weak points are really hard to find with the NC750X. The recipe of the NC has been improved for many years and accordingly no longer has any major weaknesses. Engine, brakes, chassis, electronics, ergonomics, everything works as it must. Only for larger pilots it could be tight on the NC. The knee angle is a bit sharp and the edge of the tank was not far from my thigh. However, I would see its image as its biggest problem. We motorcyclists are mostly vain creatures and even if it should not be so, the opinions of others count very much. However, if you can get over that, don't need too much power and are simply looking for a reliable all-rounder, you'll probably be very happy with the Honda NC750X. Conclusion: It's all too easy to dismiss the NC750X as an emotionless, boring everyday machine. But while it is indeed an excellent, economical and, thanks to the extra storage space, extremely practical bike for the daily ride to work, it can very well make the heart beat faster. The low center of gravity gives it top handling of which you can really take advantage in sport mode. Contrary to expectations, the NC750X is also a joy to ride at an angle. The sound can even be heard at a sporty pace and sounds like a much bigger motorcycle. The DCT fits the NC750X perfectly and is an asset in all riding situations. If you can get by with 59 horsepower and are looking for a motorcycle for all occasions, the NC is the perfect choice. Thank you for watching, I hope you've liked this video. For more tests and motorcycle facts, subscribe to our channel.